Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sudhir sir. I could see some of uh, the teachers and the students from Bangladesh also joining uh, as a guest, as the guest. So, uh, uh, could you please introduce from Bangladesh and also from Nepal? Some uh, some of uh, the teachers I could see, but uh, I couldn't read out the names uh, properly. So, can you please just uh, take a few minutes? And after that, we go to the presentation of uh, Amarji. Purna sir, can you uh, ask some uh, some teachers from Bangladesh? We were is there for the presentation yes, or for for some for the introduction. Sorry. Uh, okay, here I saw one Bengali language. I think uh, Mr. Pratoy had mentioned uh, that Pratoy. he was there from Bangladesh. Yes. <laughs> Pratoy, please introduce yourself. Hello, sir. I'm Pratoy from Bangladesh. Uh, I'm a student. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you. A lot of, uh, yeah, obviously, uh, there, there are, yeah, we are 30 altogether. But uh, yes, uh, I could see that many of you have not uh, come forward to introduce yourself. But uh, due to the limitation of, let's say, constraints of time, I just like to uh, request Amorji. Uh, yes, sir, can you ask Vishen Singh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apurna, ma'am, please. Yeah. Sorry for interruption. Uh, can you ask Vishen uh, Singh Rahul, uh, sir? Vishen, sir. For a, for a Are you there? Vishen, sir? Yeah, I'm there. Is it there? Could you please, sir, Mission. if you are there, please introduce. We just want to see you. <laughs> Hello. Am I audible? Hello. Yes, sir. Am I audible to all? Yes, sir, audible. Sir, I am Vishen Singh Rathod, principal from Kendri Vidyalaya Chhatrapur. Hello. Okay. Okay, sir. Nice to see you, sir. Yeah, we could. We, yes. We, we heard you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, welcome, uh, sir. I was, with, I was with Aparna uh, in uh, the tea program in US. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm also. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Okay, fine, sir. Nice to see you, sir. We just want to start with the presentation of uh, Amarji now, uh, from uh, okay. on behalf of Scrabble Club Pokhara. So, Amarji, are you there? Yes, sir. So, uh, okay. You, you, you. Hello, everyone. So, hello again. So, this is Amar, the executive member of Scrabble Club Pokhara. So, uh, I'm gonna present my slides about the Scrabble Club Pokhara and it's and his work we have done up to now so and our future works is my slides visible there yes sir So, uh, excuse wanna, me. Excuse yeah. me. May I request yeah. all of the other participants to uh, mute their microphone so that it will be, yes, yeah, some background uh, sounds are disturbing. Could you please do that? So, I'm going to start with the background of Scrabble Cup. Pokhara. So basically, we have started Scrabble from the Pokhara Public Library. So with the collaboration with the former program coordinator, 
at uh, Pokhar Public Library, Mr. Sam Ale and Mr. Kesa Prasad Parajuli. So uh, Scrabble have been introduced in Pokhara uh, uh, until 2015. So they have uh, out is a uh, lot of schools in Kaska district and near nearby schools. So with their great efforts, uh, they are Mm -hmm. They are able to conduct uh, their our first national Scrabble championship at 2016. So basically, it turned into Scrabble Club Pokhara, and it has mm, expanded Scrabble in 40, more than 40 districts of Nepal. So on 2017, uh, a team of Scrabble, a team of teachers from Nepal visited Bangladesh to introduce Scrabble there. So with their effort, uh, we are able to conduct an international Scrabble championship from uh, uh, collaborating with Bangladesh uh, on 2018 January. So basically, we are so successful uh, from there. So we have co completed our third Scrabble champ International Scrabble Championship this year uh, with the help of a lot of people. So uh, Rainbow Academy Homes, thanks to kudos to Rainbow Academy Homes family. So they hosted the, our third International Scrabble Championship. So we have a um, seven current scenario of Scrabble Club Pokhara. So we have a seven executive committee member, as you know, is Mr. Kesa Prasad Parazuli. He is a president president of Scrabble Club Pokhara. So Scrabble Club Pokhara. He's a president of and Mr. Baman Kumar Khimire. He's a vice chair chairperson at Square Club Pokhara. Mr. Ramchandra Karki works as a secretary. Mr. Puna Puna Rana Magar. He's a hmm, treasurer. And Turva Thapa, Bhavana Thapa, and um, me, Amal Kumar, works as an executive member of uh, Scrabble Club Pokhara. So we have a five egg, as we have introduced many of them through in the beginning. So we have five executive advisory boards. So those are the people who will give a good advice for us, for our program. So we have a lot of. Uh, District coordinators close to their their works, uh, so they have been working hard, working hard to to make our work easier. So they have flourished uh, the Scrabble, uh, Scrabble in their districts and their neighboring districts thanks to them. So and we have these are the districts uh, which we have been. Uh, these are the forty districts where Scrabble have been. Scrabble have been flourished. Uh, and who do you have a uh, Scrabble clubs uh, in their school? So two. So the, this Scrabble club, Scrabble club, they, 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 they held a Scrabble competition in their sc school. The school champion will represent in district level Scrabble championship, and the district champion will represent them to national level Scrabble championship and the national champions will be representing to uh, international level. So these are the district. So he's a Mr. Khuzidizman Ahmad from Bangladesh, our partner. So he's a coordinator at Bangladesh. So a great guy to work with. And these are the best parts of Scrabble Club Pokhara. Successfully we have continued to uh, introduce our math Scrabble and Nepali Scrabble boards have the more than 30 words came to enhance vocabulary of students through through games so kudos to Kesab sir and other other teachers who have uh, who have introduced 50 more board games and we have more than 20 volunteers teachers how to to teach how to 
place travel involvement of nearly 200 schools and 1,000 teachers and 10,000 students around the country. To introduce travel to different ever disabled, differently able students. So recently we have visited to a low vision school. So we have introduced travel to them. It was a nice experience for us. Able to put a great stamp in Westpa. So we have multiple relationships with the travel association of Pakistan, India, and Kenya, as well as we are waiting for the year from other parts of the world for the more professional learning and network dedication to transfer the education practice. Scrabble has been, so how can you enjoy Scrabble? Basically, we do, we do have a, uh, introduced to the, a lot of mobile apps and we do have a computer 3D Scrabble app. So as a mobile app, we use a Wiley timer, Scrabble Go, cross Scratch free, Word Master, Lexilus, Word Domination, and Word Master as a mobile application and Scrabble 3D for computers. So how can we enjoy Scrabble at computers? www.isc.ro and we do have a Scrabble board. And what we are fond of, Scrabble is a game which has a lot of benefits like increasing vocabulary. Yeah, obviously Scrabble uh, increases the vo of vocabulary, English vocabulary, has to develop intellectual activities. Yeah, how can you deal with the things and how can you deal with the people? So teach it strategy. So as you know, we have to make a mindset and create a plan, uh, how to make a create what how to create point that it is a strategy, encourage social cooperation and bonding. So this is a this is a platform Scrabble have gave to where this has been introduced us with you people from different countries. It encourages uh, social cooperation, this, and has to improve your emotional well-being and personal confidence. Yes. The Scrabble, call, Scrabble has been a great um, plus point for me to encourage uh, my personal confidence to improve creativity. Uh, it has to improve creativity, develop concentration. So concentration is the most thing the, to win a Scrabble game. Poster learning through creativity and play. A play makes us happy. Yes, sports has always been a uh, great, great asset for us to make us happy. So here are the, here are some glimpses recently program we have done. So at January, at January we, we have organized our third international Scrabble Championship. There are some photos from there. So these are Scrabble auditions for low vision students. So it's Scrabble Club Pokhara and it's member I visited our low vision school and we have yeah, introduced them to Scrabble. It was a wonderful experience with these people. So they are really interested and we're planning to involve them to our Scrabble championship next this year. So this engagement of SCP Scrabble Club Pokhara in pandemic period. So in this pandemic period, we have organized a series of programs. So, series of programs. So, if we have done up to nine programs uh, now in this pandemic period, and we are planning next in 11th May. So, you will get a uh, so we'll get a chance to involve with them. What next? What next of Scrabble Club Pokhara Math Scrabble Championship? So we are organizing a math Scrabble Championship, a Nepali Scrabble Championship, district and national international Scrabble Championship. So September is our uh, for is inter district level Scrabble Championship, and all district will be organizing their district level championship, and and they will be sending their student to national level championship, which will be held in Chitwan uh, in. Or to the school at Chitun, and we are, we are planning a lot of uh, uh, planning a lot of outreach program. So establish a friendly relations with international Scrabble club like you, Scrabble club association India, and some more. And we are training to teachers, uh, training to teachers and students for board games as well. And you can. And you can, if you want to need information about uh, Scrabble Club Pokhara, so they would, they would have a contact office at Pokhara Public Library where I work, and you can find us online at Scrabble Club 
uh, subscriber club pokhara at the gmail.com. You can mail us there and you can learn about us uh, at our blog at www.scribbleclubpokhara.home.blog. Uh, so visit us if you want to know anything about pokhara, Scribble Club Pokhara. So thank you for thank you for listening to me. And if you want to know more about, please contact us. Thank you, everyone, for listening to me. Thank you. Thank you, Omarji, uh, for your nice presentation. Uh, you, for, for the information uh, to you all, he's a, um, a very nice uh, Scrabble player uh, from the very beginning of uh, his uh, um, that's, uh, holding his office in uh, American Corner Pokra, Pokra Public Library. He has been inspiring uh, as a um, model himself in front of the students and teachers. Uh, thank you, Omarji, for for that uh, this information and nice uh, presentation. Now, I'd like to request uh, the uh, um, presenter from uh, India, from uh, Indian side. Uh, who is going to to the presentation? Maybe Nita or sure. Uh, thank you, Keshav. That was very helpful, and Amarji, that was really a very nice presentation. So, thank you. Uh, from our side, we'll actually have two people presenting uh, in. Uh, parts. So I will first request uh, uh, Nita to share her presentation and then uh, Marisha can share hers. Uh, Nita, over to you. Yeah, just, just a second. So is the screen visible to all? Uh, not yet, Nita. Not. Just let me know when you see the screen. Yeah. Uh, so far, not there. Uh, are you trying to share your screen, or uh, we could see your face, but I Nita, ma'am, sharing my screen. Just check if uh, that present now and then a window or a Chrome tab. So Maybe just select yeah, a Chrome tab. Because, That's because all the participants are uh, uh, using the video. If the video is off, then it will be easy for to uh, thus upload those uh, screens. Otherwise, uh, it does not allow <laughs> too much space, I think. There's a problem sometimes. When I do the presentation in large number of uh, participants, in front of large number of participants, always it happens. The screen does not go like that. I guess there's some issue I can't seem to be doing it. Uh, let's do one thing. Uh, Marisha, why don't you yep. start with your presentation first, and then uh, I'll just try and solve that with Nita. Yep. So, okay, I need a moment to open it. Uh, Marisha, we can't see anything yet. Huh? Okay. Yeah, I, are you able to see now? Yeah. Yes. And I hope you're able to see this. Okay, so I think Sudhir, the first one is yours. Yeah, actually, let me just uh, give a quick uh, introduction to the Scrabble Association of India. Uh, so, Scrabble Association body is more like a apex body for. Indian Scrabble players. So what uh, we do is uh, uh, effectively there are groups at the city or state levels. So there are uh, Scrabble groups there. And Scrabble Association of India coordinates across all of those different groups. Uh, it makes sure there is one Scrabble calendar, a set of tournaments across India so that 
uh, tournaments from different regions don't clash so that people can go visit each other uh, tournaments as well. Uh, second, it uh, maintains player ratings. Uh, so every player uh, who's been playing regularly in India has something called a SAI or Travel Association of India rating. Uh, third, it does uh, interact with international Scrabble organizations, including VESPA, which is the overall coordinator for Scrabble across the world. Uh, and uh, it also, wherever there are qualifiers or only a certain number of people can represent India in a tournament, then SAI will uh, make sure that a fair selection process is put in place. Uh, apart from that, the main objectives of SAI, one is obviously the promotion of Scrabble uh, itself, developing this circuit. Uh, enhancing the quality of Scrabble players at all levels. And that's done both by playing and by uh, helping players interact with other more experienced players. And uh, to all of these activities, there is bound to be some amount of fundraising. Uh, and that also then SAI does. So there is a corpus which has now been established for SAI. And every year we try and make sure that we are adding to the corpus rather than reducing from it. Uh, as of now, there are very active clubs in uh, Mumbai, Delhi, Pune, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Chennai, Bangalore, Cochin, Goa, Vadodara. And there are smaller efforts in some other cities. Uh, and overall, in terms of a tournament circuit, uh, we try to have between six to eight national level tournaments through the year at different times of the year, uh, of which uh, some tournaments also invite foreign international players. Uh, one thing I had mentioned to Keshav at some uh, earlier discussions also is that uh, for players from Nepal who would like to visit uh, India and play. Uh, so there are uh, all the SAI tournaments are usually listed on the Scrabble Association of India website. Uh, I'll share the link uh, on the chat. And uh, right now, of course, because of the coronavirus, everything is shut down. But otherwise, there are tournaments roughly every two months in different cities across India. And people from Nepal would be very welcome to visit and uh, take part in any of those tournaments. Marisha, back to you. Yeah, OK. So um, coming to the four point agenda that you had shared to us, one was about using Scrabble and other games in classroom teaching. So essentially, I think uh, looking at your presentation, I understand that you and us are pretty much on the same page. And we understand, first and foremost, that it is going in for vocabulary development. Uh, what I now express is my personal opinion, which is a little separate from Sai. Uh, when we get into competitive Scrabble, it, it doesn't remain about vocabulary development any anymore. You know, it tends to get into uh, rote learning of words without understanding meanings. And that's where I draw the line at a personal level. And therefore, yes, if we play Scrabble with a regular English, what I call as popular English dictionary, then definitely it's a tool for vocabulary development. Uh, at lower level, when the young youngsters are really, uh, you know, the, the children are very young and they're still struggling with mental mathematics, just trying to get two plus two equal to four together. You can use Scrabble as a very influential tool to make them learn this mental mathematics very quickly. So that's another thing which we found. And uh, especially those uh, activity groups who are working with the Montessori level students, they have found this to be extremely successful. Uh, also, you know, games which are related to uh, uh, Scrabble or word learning, uh, uh, which we which we call as theme based games. These can be used, which improve not only the Scrabble game, but also the vocabulary and the recall capacity of a person. So, you know, like, for example, the child is on the way to the school and uh, when he reaches the school, you just, you know, suddenly uh, quiz start, uh, give them a five minute quiz that, OK, recall all the plants you saw on the way. So it's a good way to learn, learn biology. You recall all the things you saw moving and, you know, what they were doing. So it's a verb learning exercise. These kind of activities can be undertaken. Uh, obviously, when you were doing all these kind of things, it, it develops a problem solving attitude in the children. You know, it's not merely about playing the game and figuring out how to unjumble those alphabets and find a valid word in them but it eventually seeps into your life wherein when you're faced with an unprecedented situation or uh, a strange scenario you don't run away from it you try to solve it you know so that's how we, we found the psyche of the children also changing in that you learn how to explore alternate solutions and uh, you know anagramming is a good way in english classes to learn both scrabble and english uh, strategy learning, as uh, uh, Aman, uh, Amar Kovarji had uh, presented, that uh, that definitely is learnt in this. Uh, foresight planning, like chess, it opens the child's uh, thinking of learning to plan. 
Uh, what I covered before, handling unpredictable and unprecedented situations. It develops the sportsman spirit, competitive spirit, and it's definitely a game which is very useful for those children who are not active in physical games. So these are the, I mean, uh, these are broadly bullet points which I've put in here. Uh, and later on, if time permits, we can definitely share some of the things uh, which we, uh, activities which can be done in class. Uh, coming to the second point, what are the kind of school level Scrabble championships uh, we are having here? So uh, typically, you know, we uh, India is working at these uh, four levels, which is the intra school. When it comes to schools, intra school, which is the a competition which is in the school itself between classes or between students, and the and the driving force behind that is the school. Then we have the inter branch in a multi branch school. So. In India, I do not uh, know about there, but in India, there are private schools who are extremely interested in Scrabble and they like the branches to clash with each other in a tournament and they have these interbranch multi, uh, you know, interbranch tournaments. Uh, we have uh, then the next level is the inter school or the city level uh, tournament. Here is where the local Scrabble club comes in to play a role. And, uh, it, you know, if it's a city like Delhi, it would be the Delhi club. If it's Mumbai, it's Mumbai club. Then you will have the nationals, wherein it is preliminarily driven by the local club, supported by the national uh, association, which is Scrabble Association of India. And sometimes it is supported by professional organizations as well as sponsors. So the, the type of tournaments that we have in India are either school driven or they are the association driven, the Scrabble Association driven, or they are a professional organization uh, driven. Uh, or they are, um, I think I, I just duplicated that, <laughs> or they are uh, basically sponsor driven. Uh, just a very brief overview of what we've been doing in Delhi. Uh, so we have what we call as the Delhi State Scrabble Championship, which is only for students. It's an annual event. Uh, we've been holding it since 2005, and it's been the stepping stone for several of the youngsters who have gone on to play uh, the nationals and internationals, and they're playing even now. Uh, so generally, this tournament serves as the first uh, uh, platform on which they get to test their metal. Uh, then we have the Delhi Scrabble Championship. So the difference being only between the word state. But this is now known as uh, Gale Scrabble Club. And this is a Sai and Vespa rated national level three day tournament, which is open to all um, age groups. This is sponsored by Gale India Limited. It was started in 2013 and we've been holding it annually for the last six years. We have what we call as the Delhi Open. These are quarterly events which are conducted by the association members and they're competitive and friendly games, basically designed to uh, encourage new players and also for the old player, uh, you know, the experienced players to uh, play with the uh, other other people of their own caliber and, uh, uh, you know, find find on their skills. And then we have the Delhi uh, Open Championship, which is conducted in collaboration with the Library Committee of Delhi Gym Khana Club annually, and it is restricted to the DGC members only. We also provide technical support for workshops and tournaments, which are organized in schools, activity centers, under various community service initiatives, you know, especially uh, in rural areas, you know, even even a, even the capital city like Delhi has many rural areas and we're running uh, uh, so community service initiatives wherein we try to get these children comfortable with the English language in through this game, you know, because a lot of them are not very comfortable in, in uh, speaking English. And uh, your last point was support from students, parents and other agencies. Uh, yes, students have given a lot of enthusiastic participation to all of these activities that we've been doing. Uh, they have shown competitive spirit. They are ready to study and work hard to improve their game. Uh, they are ready to manage their time so that they can do whatever they're doing as well as to attend games and events. The parents have definitely supported their children by allowing them to play not putting pressure on them, undue pressure on them, helping them to improve the game, getting appropriate support uh, for, for the children to improve the game further. And uh, agencies other than schools who can help in all this are the local Scrabble clubs who give the technical support, the National Scrabble Association. They are very many activity centers, you know, they are not schools, they are not, um, they're not um, uh, sort of hobby classes, you can say. So these activity centers are also very crucial when it comes to learning these games. Uh, summer camp providers, we have this concept of having summer camps when the holidays are there. And then, of course, sponsors uh, who definitely who fund all these activities so that all this can be carried out. Um, and what is the takeaway for this? It's the main and major takeaway is learning through fun. You know, I've shared this photograph here to show you that 
we have a lot of parts in india who do not have the resources to uh, um, to do a lot of tech savvy things but a simple game as scrabble makes it so much fun for even a village level child to learn english and gain confidence slowly it's not about competition and tournaments it's about learning through fun so this is like one of the photographs from such a particular uh, village like level activity that we have uh, and uh, we undertook at some, some point uh, ago so yeah that's very brief and uh, i'm open to any questions and if time permits i will share more photographs videos and uh, examples later on yeah thank you thank you marisha uh, uh, neeta back to you yeah let me see if i can get through now let's see So while while Lita is loading, so I'll just uh, you know I'm quite impressed with your presentation. You you are quite organized, I must say, all of you, and uh, you have the zeal and you have a lot of innovative ideas. And I think it's going to be a mutually uh, mutually uh, what do you call mutual learning session. Uh, uh, and and we may even I mean you may have started new, but we may have a lot to learn from you as well. Uh, also, I I'm absolutely I absolutely love Nepal. I've been there about three times. I've been to Pokhara, which I I think is one of the most beautiful places on the planet. <laughs> so yeah. So Nita, are we on? Yeah, just give me a little time. Yeah. Okay. Marisha, maybe if you can also put your email ID in the chat, so somebody wants to reach out can also reach out to you directly. Okay. Okay. Where is that chat? Okay. Here. Yeah. Yep. So and Nita, I, we can see it now. Perfect. Thank you. Right. So uh, just to take on from where uh, Marisha left off. Um, yes, we in Mumbai, uh, we belong to the Waterholic Scrabble Academy. Uh, we work in close association with SAI, but we've been associated with various schools. And uh, uh, as you can see, our students have represented India at seven World Youth Scrabble tournaments. And uh, our very proud moment was uh, in 2015 in Perth, where Samrat Singh came in 10th. And in uh, 2018, Raj came in 8th at the WYC, uh, earlier called the World Youth Scrabble Championship. Uh, also in 2016, the, uh, from Pune, Aditya Iyengar had turn, came in, come in 5th. And uh, last year was our best year so far in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, uh, Yash Fortness came in third. Also in the picture in Dubai and uh, uh, KL picture, you would see uh, Madhav Kamath, who's Sudhir's son, uh, who's the under 10 uh, world champion. And we have uh, uh, Suryash Manchali, who's the under 12 champion. Right. So, uh, what we have been doing is um, Wordaholics uh, trains all these students not only to take part in the youth championships, but also take part in all the national and international level uh, tournaments, which uh, are regularly held in India. And uh, we also host something called the Wordaholics Scrabble League, which is a, a league, the only league tournament uh, which is conducted where you play not for only for yourself, but as part of a team. Right. Uh, and amongst the uh, uh, we help uh, coordinate and conduct various uh, school tournaments and uh, host various uh, workshops in schools and uh, clubs. Now, the, uh, the first thing which one needs when approaching schools is to sell the game of Scrabble as uh, uh, we all know that it's a game of word pass strategy luck. Uh, I agree with Marisha that uh, uh, Vocabulary is only a very small part of it. When we're playing competitive Scrabble, uh, there is uh, there's a lot of rote learning involved. But uh, uh, yes, it does improve your word power, vocabulary and word part too. And the best of all is uh, it improves your analytical skills, sharpens your mathematical ability. And this is something which appeals to most schools. Another basic thing which we have to reiterate is that it is a sport. It is a mind sport, like just like chess. And it is wonderful for the overall development of any student. 
it's it's not just about your uh, vocabulary and word power and mathematical skills it improves a lot of problem solving skills for life and the basic concept is to score points with words and have fun with words and since children love making words that's the basic concept one goes with when approaching schools right schools approach it as a learning experience too so, so apart from uh, doing your two letter word list three letter word list uh, your stem learning retina plus blank satire plus blank there's a lot more to scrabble when you have to approach it to uh, approach schools with it because uh, schools uh, also want to know what students are learning out of it so when you're uh, teaching scrabble to say a class of 40 students there may be 10 who would want to take it forward uh, at the competitive level and maybe two or three who take it at an advanced stage so initially we need to bring the fun into the whole uh, process uh, every uh, i agree with exactly what marisha said about how it helps the development the only point i don't agree with uh, is possibly it says that it was not every student is uh, inclined to physical activity so scrabble is aimed at those who are not physical uh, but uh, I, I know of people who are good with both uh, my son samrat uh, has been um, very very active with football we have vedika vedika hingorani again very active with football here sportness brilliant with his table tennis and has been playing at the state level so i believe this is not a game only for geeks and it can be taken uh, by everybody okay now this is a very unique concept that we've been doing with schools so what we do is uh, uh, introduce words introduce uh, newer words now uh, we go word list wise so, uh, this example which we're giving I'm just giving you a very small example uh, we do say 10 or 15 new animal words show them pictorially or maybe just give them lists so we give Zebu, Quetzal. Now, recall value of all these is so much more when they know what it is about instead of just learning the word Quetzal or word, learning the word Zebu, which are very, very useful in Scrabble as your good Q and Z letter words. Once you, and we, uh, we do a lot of these words, I'm just giving you examples of these two, then give an anagram quiz based on those, word puzzle quiz, or maybe a crossword puzzle, right? This in a classroom setting works really well. You give this as a worksheet for them to work on. Once they've done that, and those are the answers to it, uh, they've, they've learned so many new words. The school is happy. The students have learned more. And then you can, by incorporating this as a fun exercise, then alternate these with your regular two and three letter work list. So th this will be like a small tip from our end because I, I think it's very essential for uh, schools to make it fun too and about learning right so that's that's a really small presentation from our end and uh, uh, open to any questions uh, later from any of you yeah. over to you Uh, Mimi, I think you were saying something. We couldn't hear you. Can you be a bit louder? Yes. Another thing that we uh, stress on in Wordaholics mm -hmm. is tournament etiquette. Because um, what happens is uh, we are very uh, aware that children who start playing may not be aware of tournament etiquette. Now, the extending of mutual respect to your opponent, you know, to be, teach them to be graceful in their wins and losses. Now, this also adds on to the overall aspect in uh, creating an all-rounder as a student and as a player. And that is something that is very well appreciated by uh, other players, senior players, when they see children are very well behaved and they're thankful at the end of the game in their wins and losses. So, so it's not just development of vocab or math. It's also a teaching training on overall development.
Thanks for that, Mimi. Uh, Keshav, I think those were the presentations from our side. Uh, maybe if you want to ask any questions or if anybody in the uh, group wants to ask questions, we can discuss those. Or how do you want to take it forward? OK, thank you. Thank you, Sudhir, sir. Uh, both the presentations were, uh, uh, that's more than I had expected. I'm very, very, very thankful to you and uh, all the presenters, both the presenters. And uh, now I would like to ask uh, Pisan sir uh, for his, uh, that, uh, uh, let's say, reflection or let's say uh, for a few, few words from his side. Pisan sir. Are you hearing me, Bisanji? I think, I think he's not there, sir. He Sorry. has left. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I want to open the floor to my friends, uh, whoever. If you have any questions or queries uh, with the um, um, uh, team, uh, you are free to ask. Uh, we don't have more time. We have almost finished uh, our uh, one hour uh, that scheduled time. But you can be very short to ask or put your words, few words. Anybody interested? Can I? Okay, please, Binam. Please. Um, it's a. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I'd like to ask uh, Sudhir ji, um, Manisha ji, and Ms. Gurnit Kaur. Um, that was um, incredible presentation from your side. I'm just quite keen to ask you guys um, if you've been reaching out to schools in remote areas of India. If so, how have you been able to um, support or encourage students to play Scrabble? Because um, as we all know, it's not just um, um, just the, uh, playing with words. It's like having fun and also beyond uh, vocabulary power. So if you could just share those ideas with us, um, I'll be grateful. Thanks. Uh, so do you want me to take this? Uh, yes, Marisha, please. OK, yeah. So um, I have been uh, visiting a lot of schools in rural areas of uh, Punjab, um, Uttar Pradesh, uh, Haryana. And we have rural areas in Delhi itself. Uh, and usually, almost 95% of the time, most of the students are hearing about Scrabble for the first time from me. And they are, uh, they are quite scared to begin with. When, when we get into the class and uh, they are told that they will play Scrabble and they see that it's something to do with English, which is not their first language, they tend to be a little scared about it first. And then gradually as we take them through the process of how to identify words on a rack how to score how to join the words the fear tends to slowly recede and by the end of the day out of 60 uh, say a class of 50 students about 45 will catch the game quite nicely and about 10 of them have real zeal and enthusiasm to use this as a tool to enhance their mathematical skills or the vocabulary. And they they infect the other students, you know, the ones who, who are not that enthusiastic. They infect them that, no, you guys also have to join the bandwagon and you also have to learn the words with us. So the, in the rural areas, you I have found more discipline, more innovation more zeal, especially because they have never been exposed to this before. And they tend to get more excited to it. They do not have the resources to sit with an, with an Apple tab or a mobile phone throughout the day. So this kind of a game becomes really, really interesting for them. And uh, I will just add, uh, I mean, for some reason, I think uh, the impression went that I, I, I'm promoting Scrabble for those who are not interested in physical sport and Gurneet got that impression, but that's not, that's not the case. It's just that in a class of 60, 30 people may be interested in physical sports, 30 may not be interested. 
and for them this becomes something to look forward to you know instead of trying to avoid an you know activity so once this first initiation gets over in a particular school and the response from the students is positive it is the teacher or the principal or the school management who then takes a call how to take this forward either in the form of a separate one hour weekly play period or by building it into the english curriculum or by building it into the mathematics especially for the younger children so it's not something which you can use throughout the year but definitely it is something you can use to make many things easy like mental mathematics for the younger children so these kind of things uh, work definitely in the rural areas and this fear of english language slowly goes away children start getting the confidence they may not be tournament play level player but they it doesn't matter the overcoming the fear of english language is i think far more important <laughs> exactly yeah thank you so yeah. much it's very yeah. interesting yeah thank you bina ma'am uh, uh i could see that there is a uh, one guest from uh, um yeah malaysia Benita, Benita is there. Oh, hello. Hi, are you there? Hello. Okay. You are from Malaysia, right? Yes, I'm from Malaysia. That's right. Can you can you can you uh, express a few words from your side, please? Uh, okay. Can you share I, something? I'm not involved in. Um, I'm I'm one of the players I've represented in Malaysia. I'm not actually involved in um, teaching um, in school, but I do coach kids. Um, from the schools and who play in uh, who represent Malaysia in the world youth um, who have represented Malaysia at, you know uh, in the tournaments and also play in our local tournaments uh, so that's all the uh, experience I have um, just informal coaching uh, I have coached uh, in schools as well um, the schools have invited me to um, uh, to run classes and coaching sessions. Um, I would just like to add two things uh, to the uh, presentations earlier. I think that kids also learn um, decision making because uh, once they get to the intermediate level, you know, they are uh, considering different moves and then taking, you know, all the factors into consideration. They have to choose the winningest move, the best move, and that helps with decision making. And then there's also time management and also mental strength. Like if you're playing in a tournament, you know, how to control your um, emotions and, uh, you know, to keep a positive uh, outlook uh, to do well. And I think that that also, um, you know, kind of um, indirectly is also thought when uh, you're you're teaching them this game when you're teaching, yeah, when you're, you know, when you're playing Scrabble, they indirectly learn these things as well. Hello. Thank you, Benita. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I could see some of the students from Bangladesh, from Bangladesh side, uh, from the students of Bangladesh. Uh, does anybody, anyone like to express or uh, say something? Any of the students from Bangladesh? I could see the Trito Purna sir. Can you say the names of few students from Bangladesh? Okay. Uh, yeah. Till they decide, I want to request uh, some students. Any any student from Nepal? Mm, I think there is Sogat or Susan. Is there Susan? Hello, Susan. Are you there? Okay, Sogat, I think Sogat is joining. Sogat, can you say a few words from your side? How do you feel being here uh, and you might have got something new? Please. Uh, yes, sir. So, hi everyone. I am Sogat Gautam, a student from Pokhra, Nepal. and. Firstly, I would like to thank Kesav Sa for providing me uh, this opportunity uh, 
to get engaged in this great meeting and i'm just enjoying it previously we had a meeting with uh, wali muhammad sir from bangladesh and i too was privileged to know about online platforms for uh, scrabble playing and today also uh, <laughs> speaking with all the teachers uh, from india and other players i'm very thankful sir thanks sir thank you thank you susan uh yeah i'd like to ask any of the uh teachers from nepal if you have uh, if you yeah if you want to say anything just share something from your side please namaste this is me mrs indira bogati okay Hello. okay okay please so, full coordinator of bad way public school which is located at angadi kalan nepal Uh, first time we were ten BPS one state uh, level championship in twenty ten. Yes, sir. Who feels the uh, BPS break a stable rather than? But uh, one issue is there, sir. I would like to request you and Mr. You know Sudhir Kamar to please make it easy for each and every student that stable board is made because here we are not getting stable board, so it's uh, really difficult for us to you know force them to how to play stable board, but I see them to watch uh, install this uh, travel game, but it's not possible for every student to you know afford this Wi-Fi. So I would like to say to the cameras and and the subjects or to please make it easy for each and every school to get travel board in Nepal also. Thank you. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Uh, so this, uh, uh, yeah. I think she has the concern about uh, how uh, it, it is possible to get uh, the Scrabble boards easily because uh, in many parts of Nepal we are still uh, not finding uh, Scrabble boards, uh, even the card boards, uh, very easily in our local markets. Uh, that that is a maybe this is a uh, issue of some uh, import and export uh, or. Uh, Due to the market, uh, I don't know uh, how uh, accessible, how uh, easily are you getting Scrabble? I, I think it's uh, easy in uh, India, but it's very, 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 very difficult. Sometimes we don't have any any board at all. So I think in uh, India, the cardboard boards, uh, which are made by metal, those are now fairly easily available, at least in the bigger cities. Uh, so they are uh, easily available in shops. uh the rotating boards are usually difficult to find uh, but now i think there are a few people who started making also their own uh, uh i think uh, so in india there is uh, a gentleman in bangalore who makes some and also in pakistan i know there is uh, uh, tarik sahab who also makes uh, his plastic boards which are quite nice so okay. i think any of those if you can figure out a source for nepal would uh, would be helpful okay thank you are you using any uh, braille scrabble boards in india for the blind students no in fact uh, some in, in your presentation there was a shot of somebody who had used it uh, for uh, low vision or blind students uh, i think that is something we could learn from you because i don't think there's any braille scrabble happening in india and there are uh, blind uh, schools or blind teaching schools in general um, so if if maybe you could share after this how those uh, boards were made or where you sourced them from uh, we can see if there is something that can be done on that front here yes. okay okay thank you uh, regarding that low low vision school we are just use the same uh, the cardboards uh, we went there and uh, trained some uh, around uh, 15 to 20 students for the first time and we could see that they were very very interested to learn about this uh, so uh, uh, is uh, anybody willing to share maybe basant sir wants to say something basant ji otherwise we are going to uh, end the session within one or two minutes yeah in uh, uh, especially i want to ask the our indian uh, respected uh, all these our guest uh, how we can also use scrabble game in other subject rather than only english and math are you using uh, scrabble like uh, activities in other subjects have you applied please can you say anyone guess you can please share your ideas with us sudhir sir i just want to add one thing uh, some uh, background about uh, mr 
Basanta uh, Prasad Rizal. He's uh, working a lot around his uh, uh, remote, uh, let's say, uh, I don't say his uh, uh, location, uh, community is uh, very accessible. It's a little bit um, in the hilly part of Nepal. And he's going around uh, four or five uh, districts uh, around his uh, locality and helping a lot of uh, teachers and students in uh, diverse uh, communities, uh, different types of schools, and he has lots of experience of uh, Scrabble, uh, spreading Scrabble uh, in uh, the Midwestern. Uh, am I right, sir? Percent, sir? Is that Midwestern part? Yes, sir. Midwestern part, right. Sudhir, uh -huh. sir. So, Vasant sir, I think in terms of the question you had asked, uh, I think uh, Nita had shared a nice crossword example where uh, even though it was in the context of Scrapple or crossword, but all the answers were names of animals. Uh, so I think that kind of a concept could work where you're trying to teach something else in a fun way uh, relating it to Scrabble. Uh, but otherwise, uh, as a normal practice in schools, when we have been talking, it mainly comes down to either English or maths. Uh, in the sense that either you're learning words or uh, because you have to count and you have to choose between different choices. So English, maths, decision making, logic, those are the ones yeah. that we tend to emphasize. Uh, uh, Marisha, you want I to just something? want to add to it. So uh, uh, we have a group, uh, activity group here in Delhi who is using it to learn chemistry by making theme based boards. So essentially what happens is like, for example, you have a chapter which, you know, uh, which which pertains to a certain uh, subject matter. I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll go into biology rather because that's much easier for me. So, uh, you know, the chapter is read by all the students. And then when they turn up the next day, they are told that we're going to you have to identify words from this rack which belong to your chapter. So it's a theme based learning. So even if they have not read it, then they will start browsing through it to find that particular word that whether it is matching the uh, configuration which is there on the rack or not. And that way the whole board will contain the most important words which belong to that particular subject matter which is under study. So like this, yes, uh, there has been uh, uh, some experimentation with this, but it requires a lot of input and prior preparation by the teacher. Because making these boards, you will have to sit down and you have to figure out your tile configurations and many uh, and how they're going to come onto the board. So you may have to work with the tools. Like I found in your list of tools, Quackle was missing, you know. So you can use tools like Quackle to create these boards beforehand. And then when the class comes the next day, they already have the homework and they have a limited amount of time and they have to start filling up that board, you know, by guessing what is the word from that chapter that they were supposed to uh, study. Similarly, it, it, this works in English, this works in, in fact, any subject for that matter. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Ma uh, okay, everybody. Uh, uh, still, uh, is there anyone uh, willing to uh, say uh, or express anything. Otherwise, I just want to go back to Durba Thapa, sir. Uh, is there Dur Durba, sir? Are you there? Okay, sir. Okay. Please. Uh, Sudhir, sir, I would like to request uh, Durba, sir, to wrap up the uh, meeting if uh, you, you don't have uh, any more things to say. Uh, no, we are I think already running more was than one hour. Helpful <laughs> session. Thank you. Yeah, thank late, you. So Thank you. I have one last thank question. You. Okay, you know, please. Which kind of relates to the, the query that had just floated with respect to Braille Scrabble. You know, uh, in regular Scrabble, we're not allowed embossed letters on the tiles for because it, it will enhance cheating. You know, a person can put in their hand in the bag and identify the letters beforehand. So how do you prevent that from happening in a Braille game? So an easy solution to that could be have somebody else draw your tiles. Huh, so you okay, nice, nice idea. Yeah, yeah. Idea. Hmm. Okay, we are still not doing that uh, for our students. I'm just expecting, I'm uh, requesting some of the sources if they could uh, send us the braille boards 
uh, I don't think, uh, yeah, if it is possible to get from Indian market, then we are ready to go and buy. But uh, there is a problem always at the cost uh, to bring the uh, this kind of uh, materials. Uh, if uh, we buy a lesser number, then there is no problem. But if we want to buy in the cross, Anyway, thank you, thank you very much uh, for a very nice uh, this uh, participation, uh, very encouraging remarks. Uh, I I have got a lot of inputs from your side. Uh, now, finally, I'd like to request our executive member, uh, Mr. Durba Thapa, uh, for the concluding remark and uh, uh, yeah, end the session. Uh, thank you, sir. All our respected guests from India, Bangladesh, Malaysia, and from different countries. Our advisor, Yalal sir, Jagannath sir, and all our executive members, district court, and all the dear friends. We are so pleased to get you here in our session today. We have discussed about Scrabble programming different countries, and we are so thankful to our guest participation. Hope such type of session will continue in the future also with telling this positive. Thank you, please. Thank you so much. I'd also like to just say thank you on behalf of uh, everyone from uh, India who was here and uh, wish you all the best and let's stay in touch and see how we can help each other. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Thank you a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Jagannath sir, Jagannath sir, sir I just want to talk to you <laughs> <laughs> informally <Hello>. now. <laughs> uh, formally we finished it, but I just want to talk to you. Ani kya sir sir, ek tamay vesta unun sir tamayar ko. Oh, udani. Yeh dekhe ra kosto ba ani. Yeh pira ko linkies bano yeh dekhe ra ab kosto ba ani yeh dekhe. शैक्षिक एटा चैनल फिर प्रविधि मैत्री शिक्षक समाज भाई अनएनटी भानगर भाथी लोलि एटा मिटिंग अब महानगर में यह पेन्डामिक कंडीसन में लकडाउन को अवस्था में कसरी के करने हो टीविजन बा अलग कार्यक्रम चल रहा है हम आज दसों पार्ट भैन अब भोलि एट बैठक छो बैठक में के पेश करने बुंदाद पे आज आज दिनभरी बसर एकदम सर व्यस्त हो तब आज सर भेट पाऊँ सा एकदम भिदि ना एकदम आभार व्यक्त करते कि मैं अब तो कति को शब्द में कति को व्यक्त भो है प्रेजेंटेशन भारत देखना पाइए हेन पाइए कि कमेंट आए अब यह सुरुआती चरण भी कतिपय मानी अब बुझे अब स्क्रैबल इंग्लिश में मात्र हो अथवा मैथ में मात्र हो भाव अन्न विषय में लंच करने कुछ लो विजन भाग अपांगता भैया व्यक्ति कसरी सीखने भाई सन्दर्भ भी आई रहता है है फिर उन्ग लमो समय को जैसे पंद्रह बीस वर्ष को अनुभव एक्सपीरियंस इंडिया संग पाकिस्तान पाकिस्तानसंग ते पंद्रह बीस वर्ष को श्रीलंका तस्त हमी नेपाल इंडिया यूके कंट्री भर्खर भर्खर ये बाटो में हिड़क अभी तो हो अब सब जाना नया बाटो में कुरा गाँव जान भन्न तो झन गा टीचर लाई 
सिकेर सिकाउने जात भरियो त हामी फेरि सिकेर सिकाउने जात भरियो त हामी 